The unblended mathematics is independently the poetry of rational ideas. Everything around us is mathematics. Wow, everything around us is numbers. Hey, Miss K here. Welcome to Maths Pro, making your mathematics journey enjoyable, satisfying, and definitely rewarding. Let me say this is, and then I have that. I want to compare the two. Then I know I'll open the symbol to that part that is, is bigger. If I change them and put the smaller one this side and the bigger one that side again, then my symbol also changes direction and opens with the bigger one. That is just to tell you that if you see that you have your number first and then your variable and you get confused when you, when you get something like that, just change them as long as you change the direction of a symbol as well. So I have y is greater than or equal to negative 1. So I'm here I am at y is equal to negative 1. Greater than negative 1 is above that or equal to. So it's either negative 1 or greater. That means that's true for that inequality. So my unwanted region would then be this part. Okay. In these examples, we are going to look at uh, uh, questions that needs us to give the inequality from something or from a graph that is already shaded and drawn for us. So we want to see what is the inequality representing the, the area that is not shaded. Remember the area that is not shaded is our wanted region. So our inequality need to make that area that is not shaded true. Now we want to find that inequality. So we will start with A here. A, we have... So the first thing we want to do is find the numbers and which axis we are looking at so that you don't use x while you're supposed to use y or y while you're supposed to use x. So you want to look at which axis is cut by the line or the lines that are from which the shading took place. So by that I mean, like here we have this broken line. So which axis is cut by that broken line? We see that it's cutting the x axis. So it means we are going to actually have an x here. So we want to see now, here, this line is going to be x equal to negative 2. Why? Because negative 1, negative 2, you can see it's going through negative 2. Then we come here and see this shading, this side, is guided by which line? It's guided by the y-axis. And you can see that the y-axis goes through the point x equal to 0. So that means for this line, x is equal to 0. What does that tell you then? It tells you that I have a negative 2. And I have a zero somewhere there. But in the middle, I'll have x. Why x? Because it's the x axis that, that is cut by these lines that, that are guiding the shading. So we want now to see, because I don't leave it like that. I need to have a symbol there. Symbols here. So I want to know what symbols do I have here. I can already see that this side, I don't have an equal sign involved. So at the back of my mind, I know that I shouldn't have an equal sign involved to this side. I just want to know now, if this is your x, this space, you are referring to the space that is not shaded as the x value. So if that is your x, that whole space, that space, which is your x, is it greater than this point or is it less? And you can see, because I know my number line increases from my left to my right, I'll be able to conclude that as I go to my right, I'm going to bigger values that tells you that that space which i'm calling the x is bigger meaning my symbol is going to come and open to x but i don't put a line because there's no equal sign involved here then i go to the end the other side of, of x then i see that i'm at zero but then i went to the left and because the space or the x came behind that line meaning before that line so i went to the left that means i'm decreasing so all these values will then be less than that point so it means that space which is x is less than but this time this is there's a solid line because it's not nothing showing me that this line is broken because the fact that it's on the y-axis i can see that it's solid so it means it's going to be less than or equal to zero then i'm done and i have given my solution to a okay then we go to B. This time, we can see that the X axis is not cut at all. So it means, and we see that the Y axis is the axis that, that we are focusing on, or focus here. So we are going to have Y somewhere in the middle. 
Then I see that I need to have numbers at the end. Anyway. I see that here I have y equal to positive 2 and here I have y equal to negative 2. So it means you are going to have a positive 2 and a negative 2. You can put whatever number you want as long as you must make sure that your symbols are making sense. They open to the side they should. So I like to have my negative values this side and my positive values this side for the simple reason that I want to have like the smaller value, the bigger value there. Then I see that, okay, this is now my Y, the space that, that I have here. I want to know from, from positive two, because I see that the, the positive value is up there. So from positive two, you can even start at the bottom because you see you have a negative two so that you don't get confused. So that you don't get confused start at the bottom at negative two why just so that i can already complete this then i go to the top one there but you can start which with whichever one you want so i i'm going to say okay i'm at negative two and i see that i want to see why which means the space that is not shaded so what you, what that means then is i'm going to check from negative two where is the space it's up and i know on the y-axis as i go up i increase so it means the values that are going up are going to be bigger than negative 2. So it means that tells me that negative 2 will be less. So y is bigger, so it's bigger, and it's strictly bigger because there's no equal sign involved. Why? Because I see a broken line. Then I go to the other side, which means a 2, y equal to 2, and I can see that y is at the bottom. And I know, remember at the back of my mind, I'm remembering that as I increase, I increase as I go up the y-axis. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to, this space, which is your y, is below that, meaning I'm going down, meaning I'm going to the smaller values. That tells you this space is less than these two. So it means this space, which is your y, is less than two. And it's stripped again, it's a stripped inequality so it's strictly less because it's a broken line in the next example we are going to represent our inequalities and um, on a graph we are going to graph them and then shade still we are going to shade the unwanted so that we can uh, leave the, the region we want unshaded because that's what we should always leave unshaded now it's always important that you start reading your question even when you think you it's inequalities, don't just jump there and read. So it, they're saying, draw a diagram to represent the region defined by the following inequalities. So they are saying, draw a diagram to represent the region defined by the following inequalities. So we have x is greater than negative 2, but less than or equal to 1. And then the other one is on the y-axis. We have we have negative one is less than uh, y and y is less than three. So we want to we are doing this thing um, like what we were doing in the previous example, but this time we are combining them. Still one variable involved, just that we have one variable involved and then another variable involved, and then we are drawing them on one graph. So the first thing you want to do is you want to know where your lines will be. So you have your x equal to negative 2 this side and your x equal to 1. That's for x axis because I see there's an x involved there. So I'm going to go to negative 2. Then I want to draw my line because that's where the line x equal to negative 2 will be. So I have 2 and 1. But I want to see what line do I have at x equal to negative 2. Now look at my inequality there. Remember if it's strict, meaning strictly less or strictly more. I should have a broken line so here I am going to have a broken line going through negative 2 that broken line represents x equal to negative 2 then I go to 1 I see that they see that there's an equal sign involved here so it means I'll have a solid line at x equal to 1 so I need to do my shading I recommend that you just finish with this one and then you go to the next one so that you don't get confused or forget to do something. So here, we want to know now. Remember, we want to shade the unwanted region. So here, in actual fact, if we have to separate these inequalities, we have x is greater than negative and x is less than or equal to 1. 
that's what we have so we want to go to negative two and then okay remember we want that x to be where our wanted region where we are not gonna shade so it means we are told that x should be greater than negative two so values greater than negative two from from this point will be this side so that's your wanted so it means i'm going to shade this side will be my unwanted okay because everything this side will be um, greater than negative two so that will make it true and this side is the unwanted region then we go to the other part we are told that x is less than or equal to one so if x is less than or equal to one then it's going to be this side right so that's your wanted so you want to shade your unwanted region remember okay remember we want that x to be where our wanted region where we are not gonna shade so it means we are told that x should be greater than negative two so values greater than negative two from from this point will be this side so that's your wanted so it means i'm going to shade this side will be my unwanted okay because everything this side will be um, greater than negative two so that will make it true and this side is the unwanted region then we go to the other part we are told that x is less than or equal to one so if x is less than or equal to one then it's going to be this side right so that's your wanted so you want to shade your unwanted region so we are done with this inequality then we go to this part and that part we need to make sure that we are now on the y-axis so where are we on the y-axis we see that we are at y equal to negative one and y equal to three and we can see that there's no equal sign involved in both cases so we will have broken lines in both cases so we'll go to negative one which is here and we draw our broken line so our broken line will be there that's our line y is equal to negative one and then we go to y is equal to three and we draw our broken line y is equal to three So we have our two lines we see that okay y remember is the space so that space they are saying y is greater than negative one so we have y is greater than negative one and y is less than three so these are our two inequalities if we have to separate them so we have y is greater than negative one we here at negative one greater than negative one is this side so we want to shade the unwanted region so if that's what we want the unwanted region will then be this region below to be this region below okay then we see okay but y should be less than three so it means if we are three values less than three are below so it means then what we want is below so we are going to shade the top part because that's going to be our unwanted region and then we are done and the last example for um, when we have one variable involved is given uh, we are still going to to draw a diagram to represent the region defined by the inequalities y is less than or equal to zero and x is less than or equal to zero so we see that okay what are our two equations here we have y equal to zero and x equal to zero so we want to know where are these lines and where will they be on our, our grid so you you first of course have to draw your y and your x axis label them don't have to involve so many numbers you just have to accommodate those involved but it's zero zero there so we we, we can work with that now we'll start with y is equal to zero so we want to know where is this line and remember in our previous example i said because one is here and negative one is there you have not to have the same scale this is not to scale so you for y is equal to zero will be there so if you have to extend it you have this line and why am i making it solid because it's the equal sign is involved so it means this is actually the line y equal to zero then i 
because you're already shaped because remember i said you finish with your y and then you fin you go to your x or you whichever one comes with, or whichever one you want to start with so i i drew my line y is equal to zero remember they are saying y is less than or equal to zero and i know if i'm on my y axis i'm increasing going up so it means if i go down i'm decreasing so if i'm at y equal to zero the values that are going to be less than zero will be below so it means this is my wanted region so it means then to shade my unwanted region that's going to be the values that are greater because what i don't want is the opposite of what i have then we go to the next one which is x is equal to zero so we go x is equal to zero we see that if this is negative one this will be zero that's positive one so x equal to zero is there so if we have to draw that line and it's solid again because the equal sign is involved it's going to be that line so it means meaning the y-axis is actually just the line x equal to zero i now have to shade the unwanted region i know that they are telling me that x is less than or equal to zero so if i'm here the values that are less than or equal to zero are this side so that's the side i want so what i'm going to shade then is here Okay. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.